We have made it to Bucky's. I got a package. Good morning. Oh. Welcome back to another vlog. It's early. It's six o'clock in the morning, girl. And y'all, can't y'all see I'm excited? I don't care what time it is, baby. It's six o'clock in the morning, but this is a New Orleans vlog. This is a New Orleans vlog. Your girl is finally going to New Orleans. I've been wanting to go this year. So yes, me and my man is going to New Orleans. We're going to do a little road trip, girl. If you know, you know, New Orleans is about five and a half hours from Houston. So it's a nice little trip. But I think it's going to be cute, though. I think it's going to be cute. But let me brush my teeth real quick, y'all, because it's too early to be talking with a hot breath. I am so excited, y'all. Like, y'all don't understand how excited I am, but we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. Y'all, my teeth hurt so bad. I'm gonna tell y'all why, but when I tell you they hurt so bad, they gonna hurt. Mmm. Mmm. I see y'all when we get in the kitchen and we can catch up a little bit before we leave out, make out matcha and everything like that, you know? All the fun stuff. And I got something to show y'all. Oh, I got something to show y'all. I got something to show y'all. All right, y'all ready to see what I got to show y'all? One, two, three. Oh, your girl got some bar stools. Y'all, first of all, don't mind my floor. It might be a little dusty, girl. But I got some bar stools, uh, finally. I got three. I got these off of Amazon. And I'm so excited because they are white and they are clean. And I feel like they just add to the um, kitchen. Don't mind them dishes over there, girl. I got to tell you about that. But anyway, point of the matter is the bar stools, y'all. Look at them. They are so cute. And they like this. Uh, what is this material, y'all? Cheap skin. <laughs> lamb. It's giving lamb. Lamb skin. No, I'm joking, but for real, they are so cute. And this is giving no kids, baby. It's giving no kids because if you have white furniture in your crib, baby, listen, and you got kids, <laughs> that's something else. But y'all, are they so cute? They're so cute. I love them so much. Your girl is back on the cam. Ooh, y'all, I didn't make sure I drink a lot of water because... I be just drinking my matcha and be forgetting about water. And I love water. But girl, listen, sometimes I be ready to crack that matcha open. <laughs> so this is some lemon juice or lime juice. This isn't fresh lime juice, but it'll do. Mm. Oh, I need to also take my probiotics. Hold on real quick. I actually need to re-up because, oh, I only got one left, girl. I think I told y'all about these before. Best probiotics ever. Garden of Life has the best probiotics for women in my opinion. Don't argue with me, argue with somebody else, but those are the ones I love. Hold on. Mm. I am not a doctor, consult or doctor. Anyway, moving right along. So y'all, I was so excited to try out these white bar stools because I knew that it would add to my kitchen area, whatever, because of obviously how bright it is in here. But I was nervous, girl, because I'm like, hold on now. White get a little dirty. But at the same time, who's going to get it dirty, right? Like, I am clumsy, but I don't have to worry about it right now because I don't have no kids right now to worry about, you know what I'm saying, with the fingers and the hands and all of that. And then, obviously, when I have company, they grown. So, you mess my shit up, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> but, no, seriously, y'all, I got them off of Amazon. I feel like it was fairly reasonable. So, if y'all like them, try them out, girl. I will link them below in my Amazon storefront. Um, outside of that, y'all, I don't want to do too much before I actually leave. Because I don't want this vlog to be, like, a bunch of fluff before we actually go on our trip. So, today is really a prep day. That's why I waited until the day before. I could have vlogged on Wednesday when I was off, but I really didn't do much, so it wouldn't have been no reason to. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just wait and vlog the day before I leave. So we leave tomorrow, and it is a road trip, girl. I said it already, right? I think I did. But five and a half hours, girl, I don't even like being in a car that long. <laughs> But we gonna, we gonna see how this go. But y'all seem to like him included in the vlog. Even though y'all ain't see him, 
Y'all was commenting in the last vlog about his commentary on the side. Girl, listen, they the Leo, they say. Can y'all tell he was a Leo from how he was talking? <laughs> Girl, so daggone particular about everything. Anyway, y'all like him in the vlog, so we gonna include him a little bit in this vlog. Um, I was cracking up in trouble with them daggone collard greens and cornbread comment when I was talking about, you talking about that Jamaican food. That was too funny, y'all had me laughing. I'm like, Lord, I was loud and wrong. I was real serious too, girl, but loud and wrong. Anyway, I've been talking already enough. Girl, I feel like I've been talking for two hours, girl. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Let's make us some matcha, y'all, and we can leave out. Mm. Hopefully, y'all have tried out my recipe already with my matcha. I think so, because I know Miss Jamie, um, she's mentioned it to me before. And she likes it, but I don't know if anybody else have tried my matcha recipe. Y'all let me know if y'all tried it. I mean, it's not that much to it, but it's bomb. Also excited because my boo from TikTok, her name Ash, Ash Cunningham. Uh, she's a chef and she also has her own cookie business. And she sent me some cookies that's supposed to be delivered today, which I'm excited about. I've had her cookies before at least about four or five times. But this time she said, you know what? I'm gonna send you some. I was like, oh, that was so cute. That was so nice. <laughs> so I'm excited they supposed to come today. So I do a little cookie review for y'all. I think she sent me some flavors I've never tried. So we shall see. I think I saw s'mores on there, but I don't know, I don't know. Y'all, it is still dark outside and it's almost seven o'clock. Like, what time did the sun come out? I'm like, I want to jump rope outside, you know, as a warm up, but girl, it's still dark outside. What's going on? Quick and easy. All right, girl, that is our matcha. Cheers. So I got my handy dandy belt bag, as I like to call it, AKA fanny pack sneakers. And yeah, hopefully the sun come out, y'all, cause like, I thought the sun come up at like 6.30. I guess not. I'm not about to be jumping in the dark. <laughs> I'm only going across the street to my neighborhood gym, though. I'm not going to 24-hour fitness today, girl. We got things to do. All right, y'all. Let's go get this workout in. Mm. Bomb. This is so good, y'all. So good. I had to bring my light out here, y'all, because it's still dark outside. Like, girl, I'm out here getting a workout in before y'all even wake up. <laughs> Let me be quiet. I know people probably can hear me out here. Anyway, I'm getting my jump rope ready because it like to be all balled up, girl. You gotta open it up some. You know what I'm saying? So let's get this, let's get this thing going. Yeah, girl is tired, okay? Baby, listen. <laughs> this is a nice good workout before I wash my hair later because I know I sweated like crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the house and get myself together. And I'm not washing my hair until later, later before I have to leave out. So it's gonna be looking crazy until then. Hopefully y'all don't mind, which I don't think y'all do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going home, get in the shower get myself together and we can make some breakfast. Oh yeah, I meant to show y'all my breakfast, the hash thing that I kept telling y'all about. But yeah, maybe we can do that. We can do that, yeah, we can do that. So I'll see y'all later, bye. Y'all, not me coming on this camera look like a glazed donut. I just got out the shower and I did my skincare. And girl, the skin is skinning, but Jesus, I look like a, <laughs> I look like a glazed donut, girl. I look like a glazed donut. But anyway, mind that I got a package. So I ordered these sandals from Zara that I was hoping would get here before we left tomorrow and they did, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, it's just some regular sandals, y'all. It's nothing too crazy. Okay, they cute. Just some tan sandals, y'all. Nothing too, <laughs> nothing too crazy, you know. Let me make sure I was, let me make sure I can fit them. What size is these? Size 10, right? Size big as hell. They are suede, so I'm just trying to make sure they're not like messed up or anything because, you know, you never know. These are how they look. They are so cute. It's time to make some breakfast. I'm gonna show y'all my little 
breakfast that I've been eating for the past week, maybe two weeks now, and I absolutely love it. I've been trying to wait till like at least 12 o'clock to eat. It's past 12 and your girl is hungry, okay? So let me show you my ingredients and we gonna whip this thing up. Now, I did meal prep my chicken sausages that I get from Trader Joe's. I meal prepped it for like a week, so I only got one set of sausages left, so this is good, perfect, because yeah, I wanna eat these before they go bad. I also meal prep my onions and peppers that I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna add that with my eggs and then I'm gonna put a little bit of, what is it? Kale spinach mix, hold on, let me show you. And then I mix it with this that I got from Trader Joe's. This is kale, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. So I mix that all together and then I do an avocado on the side with a little bit of tomatoes. Girl, when I tell you this breakfast is bussin', Bussin, okay, so let's make it. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter in there, you know. I'm gonna also add some garlic, and then this is the last little bit of my peppers since I'm at the leaves, so I don't want it to go bad, so I'm just use most of them. There's a lot of peppers, but it's gonna be good. I'm gonna add some of this in there now. You're gonna do a little bit more. Shout out to the veggies. I should put a top on there, but I'm not. This is cool. Thanks. I might not eat all this. This is more than what I thought it would be. So this is the hash. Now it is a little overcooked. Don't, don't judge me now. I'm not gonna eat all of this. I'm making a mess y'all. I'm making an absolute mess. Yummy. And then I'm gonna put my sausages on top. I'm gonna add my avocado. Yummy. Then I finish it off with some hot sauce. Yummy. And that is my breakfast. This is my first meal of the day. I am currently folding clothes and watching. This is season nine of Love Island UK. I've never seen this season before. I'm like, oh my goodness, I need something to watch. So this is what I'm watching for now. But let me give this a little taste for y'all, even though I already know how it tastes because I eat it every day. <laughs> I've been eating it every day. Mm-hmm. Nice and healthy. Two hours later. I got a package. Y'all, these are my cookies that I was telling y'all about that my boo Ash sent me. This box feel heavy. It feel like she sent me a lot. <laughs> I am loved, I am loved. This is what happens when you support people for genuinely supporting them and enjoying their product and they gift you things for free. I love that. Oh, she stacked me up. Girl, she got me a lot of cookies in here. Oh my goodness, she gonna make me cry. No, she didn't give me every flavor. Oh, that was so sweet, y'all. Oh my goodness, my heart. Y'all, she gave me so many cookies. Oh my goodness, I can't believe Y'all, I'm so sensitive. <laughs> I'm so sensitive. It's so funny too because she an Aries like me. And we just genuinely love people, like, especially people that support us. Y'all, look how many cookies this girl sent me. Oh my gosh. Do you know how much these cookies cost? But I order with her every time she dropped, y'all. Every time she dropped. She sent me so many cookies. I feel like I'm about to cry. I'm not even lying. And there's still more in here, y'all. Wow. Wow. And she sent me my favorite ones, y'all. <sighs> y'all, no exaggeration. I'm not playing right now. I really cannot believe this. Y'all don't understand. I thought she was gonna send me like six cookies. Girl, she just sent me like a whole dozen of cookies. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I gotta send her a message. Hold on. I've been watching her since she was private, doing a private chef. So she do, she still do private chef um, work, but she did now went from doing private chef to now get her own kitchen and start her own cookie business. And y'all, I'm just so happy for her. I, I've never met her a day in my life, but I can just genuinely feel the genuine vibes just from just supporting her 
And I'm just like so grateful, y'all. I really am. So anyway, I'm gonna go cry. And I'm gonna tell my man like, oh my goodness, cause I always rave about Ash to him. And he be like, girl, I be like, so what? <laughs> So I'm like, babe, do you believe, can you believe Ash sent me all these cookies? She love me. Ew. All right, y'all, I'm gonna talk to y'all later because I look a mess too, bye. Your girl is packed up. I'm ready to go. I will be doing my hair in the morning because I want it to be nice and fresh. So I wrapped it already and set under the dryer. I just gotta basically curl it in the morning. And yeah, I will probably see y'all in the morning and check in with y'all. Hopefully I can get as much footage as I can with this trip because I want to make sure I do that. <laughs> but also still have some private time and fun. So anyway, I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. Y'all, it is Friday. Welcome back to another day on the vlog. Y'all, can y'all tell I'm excited? I'm in a rental car, girl. I picked up the rental car this morning and um, I'm gonna go back to the house now so we can load the car up, girl, and get on the road. So I did get me some coffee. Now, I was not supposed to be drinking Starbucks. But baby, I tried two times to get me 7-Eleven coffee this morning. Both times I tried, y'all, there was no longer 7-Elevens. And I just got frustrated. And plus, I had to come to Kroger anyway. So I'm like, you know what? <sighs> Let me just get to Starbucks. I need some coffee, girl, before we get on this road. So I just wanted to come on here real quick, do a little intro. I'm about to go to the house, like I said, pack the car up. And then, baby, we are on the road. We also are going to stop at Bucky's. I'm probably not going to do my hair until we actually get to New Orleans because I want it to be nice and fresh and laid and slayed. <laughs> but yeah, we supposed to be stopping at Bucky's. Babe, want to go there? Well, we both want to go, but he was the one that put me on. So anyway, I will see y'all, I guess, when we in the car and moving around. And yeah, that's that. Y'all going to see me right there in the passenger seat. Nice and cute. Well, not right now, but yeah, you get the point. <laughs> We have made it to Bucky. They got this whole wall, y'all, full of all kinds of nuts and almonds. This is a lot. Popcorn. Y'all, they got everything up in here. They got all the snacks. I have never heard of glazed pecans, glazed almonds, and glazed cashews. They got corn dog. But you ain't get none of this? I'm gonna also try these. Sweet. Southern barbecue kettle chips. We have made it to the hotel. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You what? Probably in that in that front part. I forgot how far that place is from us. Where are we going? It's close though. But don't you got it um, in your Safe, list? yeah. Ooh. Y'all, the lighting is not the best in here, so I can't really show y'all a full outfit. But just know we looking cute. That's all you need to know. Is that we look good need a little drinky drink though so let me get my phone real quick what's the name of the place v v v something. vandal vandal we're gonna vandal smoke some hoop well i don't know you say you might not want to smoke the hookah tonight but you did say that all right right well yeah we're gonna go smoke some hookah then Smoke some hookah, look, catch a little vibe. If y'all been to New Orleans and y'all been a, a vandal before, let me know. Baby, I got everything on the list already. All I gotta do is click and go. It's only eight minutes. Anyway, y'all, I see y'all when we get there. I'm gonna have to vlog off my phone because I'm not bringing this big camera. So, peace.
Good morning. Welcome back to the on the vlog. We are on our way to brunch. We're going to Bearcat CBD location, which is not too far from where we at. So, yeah, I heard a lot of good reviews about Bearcat. It's two locations, one in Uptown and one in CBD. So, the, the CBD one is the one we're going to. But I heard a lot about um, Bearcat, so we shall see. I'll see y'all when we get there. Bye. Thank you, lady, for that home. It's you you nasty at me. You hey, no, seriously, like three years? Four years? Four years? Four years? Yo, that is crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not putting the arm in the way. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to another day on the vlog. Y'all, my energy is kind of low this morning because your girl is tired. I'm drinking some lemon water right now, but I know y'all probably like, what happened with the New Orleans vlog? So let me tell y'all, hold on. I wanted to come on here real quick, y'all, real, real quick, and give y'all a little recap of the New Orleans trip. First of all, the New Orleans trip was very last minute, like maybe a week worth of planning. So it wasn't really planned out the way that we may have wanted it to be, but that didn't stop us from going, obviously. So I really wanted to be in the moment. I'm not gonna lie. I was in the moment most of the time, forgetting to pull my camera out, forgetting to introduce the next day, like literally going step by step the way that I usually do my vlogs. So when I was there, y'all, I was so busy in the moment, having a good time, my man, my man, my man, my man, that I wasn't really thinking about pulling the camera out in a lot of places. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to bring my camera. It's so big. It's so... I don't know. I was just not myself as far as how I vlog. But I had a great time, though. So I did want to tell y'all, because I do have some clips of stuff, but it's just a little scattered. So instead of just throwing it in there, I wanted to actually tell y'all um, everything we did and then just insert the footage that I do have. First things first, obviously, we took a road trip from Houston to New Orleans, which was about five and a half, I say six hours because we made two stops at Bucky's. Actually, we made, yeah, we made two stops. So let's start off with Bucky's. First of all, I've been hearing so much about Bucky's since living in Houston. My man was telling me about it. And the first Bucky's we went to, y'all, was not the big Bucky's. I thought that it was all big, right? I thought it was all big. I was just expecting this great experience no matter what Bucky's you went to, but that obviously wasn't the case. So the first one just looked like a regular gas station. We was like, nah, we can't go here. Like, we've been talking about this. This is the time for us to go. We can't just go to this one. <laughs> so we had drove like maybe 25 minutes to that one but the next one was like 15 minutes from where we was at so we was like all right we just gonna go the second one we was going to was a lot bigger so we went to the second bucky's and it was big now i did see a bigger bucky's as we was driving to new orleans but that goes without being said because we didn't go there but the one we did go to y'all it was cool it was nice it was big i can see why people be really racking up on snacks in there because y'all they had so many snacks it was ridiculous cookies cakes nuts they had a whole wall full of just all types of nuts seeds uh they have a whole little area where you can buy like their merchant stuff and accessories oh uh, they got like cups they got all kind of stuff they got a whole little um food area where you can order food to go they got a station in the front where you can just grab and go they got so many different burritos tacos fajitas sandwiches y'all they got so much stuff and bucky's i'm like this is a lot i didn't know what i wanted to be honest we walked around in there for a little minute but i didn't see a lot of stuff that really caught my eye but 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 i did end up getting a chicken fajita that was cool it wasn't all that but i was really sensitive with my stomach because i knew we was on a roll and my stomach y'all i don't know it's been real sensitive since i got older so i was not trying to eat nothing that was going to tear my stomach up while we was on a roll but my man though my man <laughs> he ended up getting a cheese steak some kind of cheese steak burrito yes that's what it was cheese steak burrito y'all he that burrito up 
while he was driving, I was feeding it to him, y'all. He said it was real good, like real good. So if you go to Bucky's, girl, and you want to try something real good and you eat um, beef, check out the cheese stick. But I don't eat beef, so I didn't eat any. But as I was feeding it to him, I'm like, oh, this do look good. But anyway, Bucky's was cool. You know, it was a nice little experience for the first time. Will I go back? Maybe, but it's not like, oh, we gotta go to Bucky's. Like how people be making it out to be on, on TikTok. We ended up getting to New Orleans at like nine something, right? We stayed at the Cambria Hotel, just in case you wanna know. Do I recommend that hotel? <laughs> I get into that, but not really. <laughs> But like I said, we was on crutch time, so we didn't want to pay too much, but we still wanted to have a hotel that gave us like the New Orleans kind of vibe. We ended up going to Vandal, I believe it was. Vandal Hookah, Hookah Lounge. Y'all know we love some hookah. If y'all don't know, we do. We love hookah. Everywhere we go, we gonna smoke hookah. <clears throat> so we didn't want to do like club club, but we wanted to do like a little lounge, so. The Vandal place was cool. The outside was really where it was at though. Like the inside was kind of, uh. But the inside is really nice as far as aesthetics and how it looks. But the outside is where it's popping at. They was getting lit outside. So we like, let's go outside. So we ended up going to Vandal for the first night. That was cool. It really reminded me of Houston, I'm not gonna lie. But baby, New Orleans like, uh-uh, boo. We gonna dance, we gonna vibe, and we gonna have a good time. And I like that. So that is something that I did notice the entire weekend. Like wherever we went, girl, they was up dancing. We went there and then, girl, when we finished up there, we was like, um, this is what I didn't get um, video for, which was when we went down Bourbon Street. So after we left Vandal, we like, we wanna go to Bourbon Street, see what Bourbon Street look like. I'm like, OMG, we get down Bourbon Street, y'all, filthy. First of all, I mean, I expected it to be dirty cause there's a lot going on down there, but y'all, it was dirty. Like the people was outside, baby. They was outside. I was so, I'm not so mad because like I said, I was really enjoying myself, but I was gonna say I was so mad I didn't get any clips of Bourbon Street because Bourbon Street was crazy. Like people everywhere. First of all, I've never been somewhere where they just out drinking a bottle in their hand to the head. I'm like, babe, do you see she got a Hennessy bottle in her hand? <laughs> Yo, they was out there drinking, y'all. Like, it was nothing. I'm like, okay, this is crazy. So everybody drunk, everybody lit, obviously, right? But it was so dirty and it stinks so bad, y'all. I'm sorry. But it was dirty and it stink. But I did like the fact that they got so many bars down there that you could just walk in, get a drink, keep it moving. Walk in, party, keep it moving. Like, you don't have to stay in one spot. It's so many spots, so many food places. It's ridiculous, but it was nice, it was fun, it was cool. We ended up taking a shot at one of those places. I don't know, y'all, I can't even remember, but that shot had me a little buzz. I was <laughs> First of all, my tolerance is low, like, and babe, no, he already know, like, when I take one drink or two drinks, I'm already lit. So that one shot did it for me. It was cool. So once we did that shot, we went to another little spot down there on Bourbon Street when we was just chilling in there, dancing to the music, and I was all up on my man. You know, real cute, I was here, real cute. So we had a good time. We was down there for like maybe two hours, and then we ended up going back to the house. On Saturday, I had on the list for us to go to brunch at Bearcat, and I had kept hearing so much about Bearcat on TikTok, y'all. I got all my information from TikTok. So they got two locations. They got a CBD location and then they got an uptown location. We was closer to the CBD location, which was the one we actually wanted to go to, so I was happy about that. But y'all, their food, Bearcat food, I can see why people was talking about their food so much, y'all. Their food is bomb. Their pancakes, A1. I would definitely go back there. Now that I would go back to, 110%. That's another thing, y'all. We was drinking most of the time. Like most of the time we had a little buzz going on. So that's another reason why it was kind of hard to like vlog because girl, I was even drinking some Prosecco. We had popped a bottle of Prosecco that morning um, for Saturday morning before we went to brunch. So I was already buzzed and then we get the brunch and then we got another mimosa. So girl, listen, I was having fun <laughs> at the Bearcat. So we went back to the hotel, chill for a little bit. And then we was like, okay, let's go get some beignets because obviously you can't be in New Orleans and don't get no beignets, girl. Cafe Du Monde was really cute. Everybody was outside, like just sitting outside. One thing I can say about New Orleans too is that everybody just be chilling. Y'all, they be chilling. They don't look like they trying to like 
compete with each other like Houston be. They don't feel like they gotta put on the fanciest clothes. Like they just be in their own element. We got the beignets. We got two orders of beignets. Babe claimed that we ain't need that much, but we ended up eating them. Not all of them because we, we did things backwards. We ate beignets before dinner. Why we did that, I don't know. But anyway. The beignets, I would give them on a scale of one to 10, like a seven. I feel like they a little overhyped. Like I was expecting just a little more, but they taste like a funnel cake. Like it don't taste like nothing I've never had before. Like it literally tastes just like a funnel cake, but not as sweet as a funnel cake. Murrow's is the spot, baby. Okay, let me tell you something. First of all, the wait list is crazy. Two hour wait list. You can put your name down if you want and leave and come back, they text your phone. They end up texting us within like an hour, so it wasn't two hours. But I was able to snag a reservation on their open table that day, or that night while we was waiting. But they did say they don't do same day reservations. So I don't know how they allowed me to book that reservation, but anyway, girl, we got up in there. But we ended up sitting at the bar. We had to wait until two people got up. But it was cool, I didn't care. <laughs> like, long as we was in there, I was good. So we ended up ordering some oysters, Char grilled oysters, bomb. And then we ordered the seafood Cajun, or the Cajun, sh Cajun catfish, crawfish, that's what it is. Cajun crawfish pasta. Baby, let me tell you something. That pasta, yeah. That pasta is, yeah. I can see why people like that pasta. That pasta was bomb. And then it had the fish on top. I personally feel like we didn't do enough in my opinion, but it makes sense why we ain't doing that because we didn't plan properly. So anyway, Murrow's was a great time. After Murrow's y'all, we was like, we wanna go somewhere else. We wanna go in the house yet. So we ended up going to Haifa Cuisine and Hookah Bar. Girl, they was lit out there, okay? I actually like their hookah bar better than Vandal, to be honest. You can tell that this is a spot that people come to, like for sure. So definitely I would recommend that spot, hookah bomb. Of course we had the pineapple on the hookah, girl. We got to get the pineapple on the hookah. Uh, we didn't eat there because obviously we had just ate dinner. So that was it. I know y'all probably thinking it was way more to the story, but it wasn't. So after that, went home, went to sleep, woke up that next morning. We ended up getting coffee from a coffee shop called Nova that was right across the street from our hotel. That was the trip, y'all. It wasn't nothing too crazy. It was very quick, simple, straight to the point. Drove back home. Will we go back? Absolutely. And when we go back, we probably need to go back and be there for like three days to really do everything. So if y'all have been to New Orleans and y'all have any recommendations or spots or locations, put it in the comments. So we are about to go and get a workout in y'all. Of course, even though it's Saturday, I do want to go to cycling class. I have not been to cycling class in a long time. So I booked a cycling class for nine o'clock, but before I go there, I do want to go to this coffee shop y'all. So I'm leaving out an hour early just to give myself some time. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So I will see y'all in the car. We're going to chat a little bit because I miss y'all. I haven't been vlogging for the last two weeks but very sparingly, so it's not really the way that I really want it to be. But it's okay, it's okay, we're gonna figure it out. So I see y'all in the car. I think my gym bag is already in the car, so. We not wearing nothing too crazy. I feel like I wanna wear something to support my boobs more because when we be doing a little bike ride, girl, the titties be chittying. So I'm trying to, <laughs> I think that should be good though. I have on a broad thing underneath of here, so anyway. Let's go. We're going to go in here and see what the coffee is hitting for. I did some little research on TikTok or whatever and on Google and I heard that their coffee is good. So we're going to try it out, y'all. Y'all, I am late for my class. Lord, these people in front of me was taking so long. So this is my drink, y'all. I got a brown sugar shake and espresso. The same thing I would get from Starbucks. So I'm actually excited to try it. There's two other, no, three other drinks I wanna try here. But I'm gonna start with just the basics of what I usually get and then go from there. So let's see, girl, let's see, let's see. She kinda stirred it up for me already. Let me see if I can stir it up. Just a little bit more. I'm excited, y'all. I'm finally trying a new coffee spot, girl. Let's see, let's see. The bomb. Ah, 
The bomb, girl. Mm. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell Bear about this. Cause we've been talking about wanting to try new coffee spots, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Mmm. Welcome back to another day on the vlog. I promise this is the last day on this vlog, y'all. When I tell y'all, <laughs> this is probably the most unorganized vlog I have ever had. Like this has been over a course of like two weeks and it might not seem like it because the footage isn't like in order, but it's kind of all over the place. But hopefully, hopefully I'll put it together nicely. As y'all can see, my nails look different and everything. I did go get my nails and my toes done probably a couple days ago. I didn't record it because, girl, I was looking a mess. I just went to the nail salon, got my nails and my toes done, and kept it moving. So this is the color that I have. My hands might look a little ashy because I just washed them. So that's an update. Got my nails done. Love this. Well, I don't love it. I'm lying. I don't love my nails, but I like them. I'm starting to... I'm starting to like them the more I look at them every day because to me they look a little old lady-ish with the color But I got inspo from the girls off of TikTok and I'm like, oh, they nails look so nice You know with fall coming well falls here. Maybe I should try it. So I tried it <laughs> I don't know if I like it just yet So before we go to the gym because we have to work out today is Sunday, but we still gonna work out I gotta tell y'all something. Oh, your girl got a new phone Shout out to my babe. Ah, Y'all, I'm so excited. So, I got me an iPhone 16 Pro Max 256 gigabytes in natural titanium. Oh, yeah. Y'all, I picked it up yesterday. It's so crazy because I was not supposed to get a phone yesterday. That was not on the cards. But I went at Best Buy after I went to the gym yesterday to go look at the Osmo pocket thing because I wanted to like feel it and you know that's what I really wanted but it's cool I'm mean, let me finish the story so I'm like let me go in there and just see what it feel like touch it you know what I'm saying but on my way back there the phones was on display y'all know these phones just came out not too long ago so I'm like let me just look at them girl when I tell you I looked at them dang on cameras on them iPhones the new iPhone I say oh my goodness now mind y'all I have I had an iPhone 12 I had an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Y'all, I'm like four, what, four years behind or four models behind. So I'm like, <laughs> you know, I really want this. Like, I really want this. I didn't go in there looking for no dang on iPhone. So I'm like, babe, I really want this phone. I really want this phone. So I got it yesterday. Ah! <laughs> so this is the phone. And I did order a case today. Well, I ordered a case yesterday before I even got the phone but the case was supposed to come today so it got delivered and we are about to see oh yeah this is oh y'all don't be trying to jock me either <laughs> don't be trying to jock me don't be trying to jock you girl don't be trying to jock me even though i jock somebody else oh there we go oh that's cute you can't even say that ain't cute girl if you do say it ain't cute then you hating <laughs> hello what you say <laughs> i'm excited <laughs> can y'all tell anyway I'm gonna make me some coffee and then we're gonna get a little workout in, something quick and easy because I've been going to the gym all week and your girl is kind of like beat down. But, you know, I got some goals I'm trying to accomplish. So, we're gonna just do a little walk in, a little one, two, nothing too crazy, a little bike ride, you know, just basically cardio. And then we're gonna get our life to get ready for this picnic because this man want to wait until the last minute to go get the stuff for the picnic oh wait i want to go to the store the same day because i don't really know what i want for my snacks okay babe so anyway i will chat with y'all probably when i get back from the gym i don't know if i'm gonna record i might i might not who knows at this point because the vlog already fucked up <laughs> Two hours later. Your girl is about to head out. If y'all don't get anything else, baby, listen. Get that e.l.f. lip oil. I just got a new one probably like a week ago. Uh, this is a pink quartz, but girl, <laughs> don't nothing gloss like this. That's reasonable. We're going to say that. That's reasonable because the Dior lip oil is always going to be my fave. But the e.l.f. They fine with me, they fine with me. Anyway, I'm about to leave out. I had to get myself together, y'all. 
without being on camera because girl i'm running behind always running behind but one thing i will say is that my hair looked like i did a little bump to it or something right girl when i tell you that olaplex um shampoo and conditioner and oil oh, the shampoo and conditioner on its own was a1 but what i did was when i got back from the gym because i'm pretty sure y'all saw i had a head scarf on underneath that hat earlier but um my hair was a mess it was a mess so what i did was while i was cleaning up and tidying up i had the olaplex conditioner sitting in my hair excuse me until i was done so it was really sinking into my hair and then i rinsed it out and then i molded my hair sat in the dryer and y'all literally i had i had this is no relaxer i'm almost a month with no relaxer and y'all know i love my relaxers but girl my hair is so straight and i'm like what in the world is in those products i put a little bit of oil on there girl i didn't even have to flat out my hair i'm like okay olaplex olaplex holla at your girl because baby them them products is magic so anyway that's my little rant about olaplex but mm, your girl's about to leave out let me show you what i'm wearing i got this skirt from target y'all you know i gotta make sure i got something underneath the top i got from zara this bag i'm so over it y'all Ugh, so over this bag but I don't know where I got this from. I think I got this from Forever 21, but it'll do for now. And then I got my Sambas on, so. Your yeah, girl, looking real, looking real, looking real cute. Looking real cute. <laughs> this Forever Mood is almost gone. I sprayed this so much. This is in the, which one is this, y'all? Let me see, let me see. Which one is this called? NDA. I had never tried her fragrances before, but obviously, who don't know Jackie Anna, right? We all know Jackie Anna, and obviously she came up with these fragrances a little minute ago, but I never tried it. So I was like, let me just try the small one, see how I like it, and then I'll get the big one. Baby, I'm getting the big one, okay? I gotta try the other two. I think she just came up with another one. My girl doing her thing. But this NDA, baby, this thing is almost gone. <laughs> It is almost gone, y'all, and I feel like I haven't even had this for a month. So I need to chill until I get the big one. But yeah, if you want to try it out, try it out. Uh, how much you want to bet? We not going to get to the picnic until like 5 o'clock. Watch. Watch. The plan was 2 o'clock. How much do you want to bet? We're going to turn this on. I'm going to show him that we're going to end up getting to that picnic at 5 o'clock, which is fine. Ooh, speaking of fine, I need to get some off. I got to put my off in the bag. I don't know why I just thought about that. But mark my word, y'all. We're going to get there at 5. Watch. Right now, it's 1230. He's saying we're going to get there at 2. That ain't going to happen. What did I tell y'all? <laughs> I'm waiting on Mr. Take His Time in the shower. And it's 1.45. So, I get y'all some B-roll once we get there and everything. So, I just had to come back and update y'all with that.